You know, there's something really interesting about time. We all get the same amount in a day. Every day is 24 hours. And some people are very, very fruitful and effective, and some people just waste their time day after day after day. And that's a choice that we make. But there's one thing about time. Once it goes by, you never get it back. So how tragic it is to waste any day of your life. I think we need to live every day like it was our very last one and live it to the absolute fullest that we can live it. Now, if you're honest, you know that more than any other thing, the devil will fight you on your time with God. And the reason he does that is because that is more valuable to you than any other thing. It is the most important thing. The Holy Spirit is the one who puts it all together for us. And not only that, it offends God when we leave him out. He's more important than anything else. Until you learn that, you're going to be in sad shape. Just by giving him the time, you're saying, I need you. One of the first things you need to do every morning is take care of every mess from yesterday by repenting and receiving God's mercy. Receive God's mercy. Don't stay mad at yourself. Whatever you did wrong, God knew you were going to do it before you did it. You're no surprise to God. He's not shocked about what you do. Ask for forgiveness, receive mercy, and go on. You cannot have a good day if you're under condemnation. It's not possible. That should be something that you do every morning. We're talking about how to get your day started right. Make some decisions early in the morning. The decisions that you make early in the morning are like getting dressed spiritually. You not only have physical clothing, you have spiritual clothing. And many people go out naked in the spirit. We literally get dressed spiritually as we make decisions. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Empty space is still a place. And if all you offer is empty space, then the devil will be happy to fill it. So you better start thinking something on purpose before he starts thinking for you. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. Receive God's mercy and then start making decisions. Every decision you make is like getting dressed spiritually. In Ephesians 6, the Bible talks about the armor of God. And it says, put on, put on the full armor of God. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Now, I believe the way that we put on that breastplate of righteousness is by receiving the mercy of God and then making a decision. I know who I am. I am the righteousness of God in Christ, and I am going to be bold in the Lord today and act like the person that I am. Now, when you do that, you put on something spiritually that begins to cover you from the enemy. You put on the shoes of peace, and the way you do that is by making a decision. I don't know what's going to happen in my life today, but I'm deciding before I ever go out the door that whatever it is, I'm up for it. And I'm going to stay in peace. I'm going to be adaptable and pliable and moldable. And even if I don't get my way, I'm still going to keep my peace. How do you go out of your house dressed spiritually? Have you paid more attention to what you look like physically than what you look like spiritually? Do you spend an hour fixing your hair and getting your makeup on and just the right outfit and yet you're spiritually naked and the devil's ready to just have your day? In Ephesians 4, the Bible says, put off the old man. Put on the new man. Another scripture says, put on Jesus Christ. Colossians 3 says, clothe yourself with mercy and above all that you put on put on love I believe it's decisions that we make about how we're gonna walk and I believe it's things that we say ahead of time by faith faith speaks faith is not silent faith speaks out of the heart the mouth speaks decide ahead of time 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm ready for anything. I'm equal to anything through Christ who infuses inner strength into me. We have to learn how to do this. You have to start thinking on purpose. Not just thinking passively, whatever falls in your head, but thinking on purpose. You get up and you decide that you are going to be in agreement with God. You don't get up and wait to see how you feel and wait to see what happens. Greed. Start agreeing with God and disagreeing with the devil. This is not hard. Everybody can do this. Start every day with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is so important. The devil hates it when we're thankful because he is a full-time grouch. Be thankful and say so. Say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you're thankful, open your mouth and say so. What are you thankful for? Do you, do you thank God daily for even little things? There's so much to be thankful for. And the more thankful we are, the happier we get and the madder the devil gets. Be thankful and say so. It's a great thing to do every morning. Just sit or stand or kneel or whatever you're comfortable and just lift up your hands and say, here I am, Lord, I'm yours. Use my mouth. Use my mind. Use my hands. Use my feet. Use my eyes. Use my ears. My finances are yours. I commit myself to you, God, and dedicate myself to you.